Welcome back, I'm Dr. Danso, and today I will be speaking about raised blood pressure, also known as hypertension. And the reason I wanted to speak about this is because in the last two or so years, there have been a few cases where relatively young people have either had long-term physical disabilities or died as a consequence of having a stroke. And in my opinion and my experience, I think this is largely related to uncontrolled blood pressure. So I wanted to start off today by talking to you about how you can check your blood pressure at home and what to do if your blood pressure is high. So this is the Omron blood pressure machine. This is what I use every day in clinic. It costs about 20 something pounds from Amazon. I recommend looking at the British and Irish Hypertension Society website. They have a list of approved blood pressure machines, so have a look on there before you go out and buy one. The blood pressure machine comes with a standard cuff, which looks like this. But I normally use a larger cuff for most patients. So if you've got slightly bigger arms, or if you have quite muscly arms, this is more accurate. Using a smaller size cuff can give you slightly higher readings, so it's not necessarily accurate to use a sm too small a size cuff. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're in a quiet place, sit comfortably, feet flat on the ground. Make sure that you don't have any cigarettes, no alcohol and no exercise at least 30 minutes before you do your blood pressure. So, you would need to put the cuff on making sure that this cable is on the inside of the arm. Take off any watches or any tight bands or hair bands that you have on your wrist. Make sure that it's nice and snug and rest your arm on the table, like so. I always advise patients not to look at the machine as I find that this artificially puts the reading up. So try and relax, think of something nice, close your eyes if it helps, okay? And start the machine. Okay, so I've done best of three and I've taken the best reading. So the top number is what we call the systolic pressure and the bottom number is what we call the diastolic pressure. We want the top number to be less than 140 and the bottom number to be less than 90. If any of those numbers are high consistently, you need to go and see your GP. Now, the bottom number is your heart rate. You can see I was clearly very excited to be filming for you today, um, but we would expect this number to be less than 100, okay? So, as I said, 140 over 90, that, if any of your blood pressures are over that, that is when you need to go and see your GP. For more information, or if you'd like to see this video again, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter. Please also note that if you're in any doubt or have any health questions, please contact your own GP.